Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, collection review for Mike, a fellow European uh, living in Hong Kong like me in his 40s, married with kids. And he's got a very cool three-piece collection at the moment. What's interesting, uh, his first one, uh, the IWC Chrono, uh, he got it in uh, 2009 when his uh, then boss and now business partner gave it to him as a present for promotion brand new brand new watch then he had some uh, dodgy dodgy watches some Seikos some uh, quartz fashion watches but in uh, 2020 so just last year added the Omega Aquaterra Date 8 uh, which is a dressier piece with the polished center links I gotta say really beautiful very unusual Aquaterra uh, many people don't even realize there's a Date 8 version so that's a very great great option because day date in Rolex you gotta go precious metal cost a fortune and the Aquaterra just looks uh, looks stunning looks like it's the uh, 41 millimeter version very nice uh, play with the the, um, the the color there on the on this dial and then uh, he get um, Omega Speedy Pro blue reverse panda from the Tokyo Olympics edition so the Olympics that uh, are yet to be held 2020 so on the case back you you have this uh, historical memento of the Tokyo 2020 he doesn't care about that aspect but you know in the future it will uh, it will matter I think for the value of the uh, of the watch beautiful blue color I think they had, there were five different models only issued in Japan you can still find them uh, my favorite uh, is the one with the green bezel uh, with, with a bit of gold uh, these watches have a sapphire crystal and an adjustable clasp so it's an interesting uh, play on the on the speedy pro the bezel is ceramic applied markers some uh, red details really sets it apart so trio of a trio of beautiful watches they really work well together and he got his uh, dad an omega seamaster 300 meters two-tone yellow gold that's uh, one of my favorite ones uh, when they came out it was my favorite black dial on the bracelet and um, I think that watch is beautiful actually it would be beautiful in the in the, in the collection and as Mike is uh, thinking about what to add you know we could say you should add a, a diver but you know hopefully in many 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 years uh, in decades hopefully uh, well he's he will inherit his uh, dad's watch you know not to be morbid about it uh, but it will be something wonderful to remember his uh, dad with it's uh, a watch that can last many lifetimes so where are we going next uh, Mike is uh, living in Hong Kong so there's lots of, uh, of choices are around you've seen my videos of going shopping he's done the same he's starting to look around and the first thing he's thinking uh, of is our uh, GMT and when you think GMT you think Rolex or possibly possibly Omega uh, but I think a uh, Rolex would be fantastic uh, at this point probably looking at uh, a black dial so he's looking at the uh, current root beer and the old version versions uh, the GMT bad girl uh, 16710 coke you know I, I like the, the coke quite a lot if you're going there and they're still very usable if you take a post 2000 version solid and link uh, get the, the loom still working I think it's a nice way to have a bit of vintage feel uh, but still something very usable 40 millimeters otherwise I think to me uh, one watch that would be great in this collection would be uh, as Mike mentions in his uh, email to me the Explorer 2 there's a new version doesn't really add m a lot to the previous ones like refinement better movement well longer power reserve movement I'm not sure if it's better and you know if you let it run out for more than three days it doesn't make a, a difference to me so you know I'd rather get the old one at a great price than the, than the new one they're pretty much the same same watch slight refinement on the Lux perhaps not even sure uh, he mentions also uh, going looking around at other things than GMT's uh, the the two-tone Daytona 
16523 Grey Dial, you know, I looked at it. It's the most affordable because the Grey Dial is a bit of the, the dog of the ranch. I don't know if you want to go that way and get the, the dog of the uh, of the ranch. I mean, it's not the dog. It's, it looks great, you know. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I've considered it myself, uh, but maybe the Black Dial, I think it's worth the extra, extra money. Also the Bluesy. Bluesy is great. You'd get a diver. It's, uh, it's a bit of flash. It's very nice, uh, very beautiful watch. Can be a one watch. Uh, you know, what can I say about all these, uh, these ideas? I think Mike is looking at the, the right stuff. Uh, also considering the Digest 41, but then I think you would have to let go of the Aquaterra. Aquaterra is great because you get the day date. Uh, also looking at the Stella Dials OPs, you know, they're very expensive uh, to get the 41 millimeters. You're gonna have to pay a lot. And the uh, most interesting colors are just uh, overpriced right now. Well, they're overpriced. I'm not even sure if they're selling. They just went straight to the to the second-hand dealers. Let's call it the black market, really. Uh, something else interesting, the Seedweller 4000. Yes, the one I have, I think that's a... But the prices now are creeping beyond the price of the current Seedweller 43. So maybe I think your, your wrist, if you like the, the bigger sizes uh, like you have in your collection, your wrist could handle that, and I think it's shaped to not wear all that big. Uh, the current is over 43. You can get it pretty much uh, almost at, at retail, maybe a little uh, over, but maybe even an AD would accept to uh, sell it to you. You know how hard it is here in Hong Kong to get anything from ADs, but market is going to change at some point. They're going to have to sell watches to real customers. And then one last thing, one thing interesting is the uh, old Seamaster GMT. Yes, you might have seen it in my videos. Uh, if you know Cosway Bay Plaza, they had both versions. I really like the gray one, but it's sold. Uh, they still have the black one. Uh, that is very cool. I like the sword hands. Uh, they speak to you, uh, as you say in your, in your mail, it would add a nice diversity, bit of vintage look. These are very thin. They run the ETA movement, probably a bit modified by um, Omega, uh, I, I would I would ag approve uh, there, and it wouldn't cost a fortune. And then you would have a fantastic four-piece collection, three uh, Omegas. Uh, I think that would be uh, a quick fix. Uh, so yeah, maybe go there. Get the, uh, the, the get one of these old Seamasters GMTs. They don't cost a fortune. They don't cost a lot to to fix. It, it's thin. It's gonna wear well. It's got a cool look. Sword hands. You know the hell with with a uh, Rolex, how much, how much you have to, to, to spend. Uh, see if it scratched the itch. If, if it doesn't, you know, you're not gonna lose. You can sell it back. And then, you know, my next choice for you, I think would be the Explorer 2, 216570, uh, or the previous version. Uh, just uh, get something, you know, around 70,000 Hong Kong dollar. Uh, that would be a very good watch, a watch for life. They were great, uh, a bit bigger, you know, 42 millimeters. But very cool watch. And because you're from Europe like me, you get this sentimental uh, thing on your on your wrist where you can see the time back in uh, in Europe, back home. It's something I, I like to have. And of course, think about the Tudor Black Bay GMT. I have it, I like it. Uh, if you have a, a good, good size wrist, at least 17 centimeters, uh, it, it's a watch that looks stunning and it's available now uh, at, at the ADs without too much weight on the bracelet. Get it on the bracelet, of course. Don't go too fast to get it on the on, on the strap. Uh, I, I approve. So, yeah, I think go, go, go GMT. That would be nice because they, they all have great water resistance. Like Seamasters, you know, and the, the Rolex. You, I would go there first before getting um, a Sea Dweller. Sea Dweller would be a nice addition, but I think because you're away from home, a GMT is the next one to add. Anytime, if you wanna shoot me an email, if you wanna go uh, see some watches maybe <laughs> on a safari, uh, maybe we'll get to, uh, to meet up and do that together. Uh, but, but yeah, you know the game plan. Guys, let me know what you think. You know, it's nice, refreshing to see a, a short, concise collection just three wonderful pieces it's uh, it's very relaxing i wouldn't add more than than one you know just add one add a gmt and that's it four pieces 
nice don't have to worry too much about winding watches about servicing uh, four solid pieces strong looks nicely shaped different type of bracelets man that's a that's a cool dude collection right no need to get anything more more fancy than that no need to get into more trouble than that all right mike thanks for your mail guys i'll be trying to do all the reviews i'm getting lots more and more emails uh i'll do them as fast as i can and i'll speak to you in the next one bye bye